Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and I'm just doing another little video. Um, this will probably get kind of long just because I want to go over some kind of updates and cool things that I've done uh, for my dollies. It's been a while, so I wanted to go ahead and update. Um, nothing really too exciting has been happening, but um, this week I've been kind of goofing around and doing a lot of stuff with the dollies and also playing a lot of Pokemon if you guys uh, like Pokemon or play Pokemon. Um, <laughs> Maybe I'll make a video about that afterwards, we'll see. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys all of the dollies, because you might notice some differences here, and that is that I redid a lot of face-ups, painted a lot of things that I've been needing to paint. Um, so yeah, I want to go ahead and show you guys, and I've also made some cool things too, so. First of all, the Etzel over here, he's the only one that hasn't really had like a huge drastic difference. I found this cute little pink chain at um, Michael's so uh, craft store so I went ahead and made him a little necklace it's a super cute it's like the perfect like it's so hard for me to find colored chain it's ridiculous it's a perfect shade of pink to go with him he looks so cute I love him in this outfit like all these colors just work so well for him um, so but yeah he has a little pink chain and this is something that I thought was really really cute um, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this because my camera sucks as you guys know but if you can look really closely at his hand here you can see that there's these little bracelets and that little bracelet um, it says shoe on it I found these tiny little letter blocks and I've been looking for these forever but I couldn't find one small enough and I finally found some that were small enough and this one right here it's blue and it says shoe on it and then if I can get this one this one over here you can't really see it but it's blue and orange and it says Cal on it um, <laughs> I'm sure you guys can probably guess that those mean uh, my character Shu and Calliope. They're little shortened versions. And, um, I don't know, this is really funny. Like, it took me forever to decide what to put for Calliope's side, if it'll focus. No, it won't. <laughs> of course not. Um, but anyway, it took me forever to figure out, like, what I should put for hers. Because I didn't really want to put, like, Calliope, because it would take forever to spell it out, and it would just be huge. So I wanted to shorten it to something, but I don't know, like, I never really took Etzel for shortening her name. Like, I don't know, sometimes you have characters and, like, you instantly know if they'll give someone a nickname. But for Etzel, I just never imagined him giving a nickname for Calliope. I don't know why. Um, but I figured that if he did, it would probably be Cal over Callie or something like that. I don't know why. Um... I'm not too sure why he would call her that. Again, I don't know. It's something that I don't imagine him doing. But maybe it's something that Shu made up or something. I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of story behind that that I'll figure out someday. But I wanted to have them both equal lengths because, again, if I spelt out Calliope, it would just be, like, huge. It would probably not even fit around his hand. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much all that changed with him. His face-up is the same and all that stuff. Um, but let me see if I can... Ooh. My camera holding skills are terrible. But anyway, I'm going to go over here to Panda if my camera will focus. Focus camera. Um, but anyway, I don't know how well you can see her. The light is like... Ugh, light, please be reasonable. Um, but anyway, so uh, there it goes. Anyway, so what I've done for her is I've actually blushed her hands, if you can see them. And blushed her chest, too. I don't know why you can see that but I gave her lots of little bruises and scars and you can't tell it all but I also um, made her nails like you know realistic and with the little like white lines and they're shiny and all that kind of stuff um, you can see that she has a bruise and some cuts there and the same thing as well for her chest um, I just blushed the chest piece in her hands because I don't really imagine her wearing a lot of like kind of skimpy clothing um, but I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I thought that would look really cute. Um, well, not really cute, but just fitting for her character. I really like my dolls to have blushed hands, even though I haven't really done it too much. Um, but I don't know. I think it really kind of makes them like have that extra element of realism. Especially when you put up their hands next to their face. It looks really nice if they're blushed. Um, but most of my dolls wear a lot of clothes, so I don't really worry about like a complete body blushing. But I thought that would work really well for her. Just because, like, I don't know, I wanted to blush her chest because whenever I see her face with the little, like, scratches and bruises and stuff, like, her chest looks so off. It was, like, so white um, compared 
to her face because her face up is more dramatic. Um, it has more layers and stuff. So she just looked really, really pale next to um, her chest and hands, which actually I'm going to mention again here in a second because you'll see what I mean. Um, <laughs> but anyway, whoops. Anyway, I'm terrible with the camera. But um, so over here is River. He's like looking like a derp. I don't even, his eyes are so shiny. Like they reflect the light like crazy if it's not the right angle. But anyway, you can see here that I actually painted River's little kitty parts, if you can see that. There's his ears over there looking all like <laughs> pushed down. Um, and there's his little paws. And there's his tail. And there's his little feet. <laughs> I finally got around to painting them. It's been like, oh my gosh, it's been <sighs> like six months or more since I've got him and I finally got around to painting that. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm sorry, River. Um, but yeah, I still want to go ahead and do um, some more piercings for him and tattoos and stuff, but I'm not going to do that yet. But if you can see, I don't know how you can see it, but it, you can kind of see there's a little, I can't really get any closer, but there's a little ring on his ear, and that's an important um, piercing for him to have. He actually currently has 13 piercings. In total, but that one in particular is rather important. It's the first one that he ever got. Um, so I wanted to make sure that he had that one. I'm still looking for tiny little beads that I can use for his other ones. But that one I wanted to make sure that I got on there. Um, but yeah. I'm sure you guys might wonder too, like, why his, like, why I painted these black and purple. Um, I have mentioned before, maybe you guys don't know, but he's actually, um, his like kind of animal form, I guess, what he's sort of based around um, is a serval. And if you know what those are, they're kind of like mid-sized wild cats. And they have, they're really, they're known for like big noses and really, really tall, big ears. Um, and the reason why I actually have his ears like slanted this way, because they're actually supposed to go up on top of his head. Like I actually put the like left ear on the right side and the right ear on the like left side. Um, and that's so they can have this little flat expression. Because I always imagine that since he has rather large ears, he likes to keep them downwards. Just because they're a bit distracting, I'd imagine, um, canonly anyway. So he always kind of keep, he, keeps his ears flat. Oh! But anyway, servals are actually more of like a, I don't know, creamy kind of color. Uh, kind of like cheetahs, that sort of same color. Um, but the reason why his little animal parts are not that color and they're black is due to some sort of magic, I guess you could say. Um, they're also the reason why part of his hair is purple. But I'm not going to get into that now because it'll take forever to explain. And I'm sure if you guys know River, then you know what I mean. Um, but if you've ever, ever wondered that, why... If, or if you do wonder that, I guess, because you've never seen them before. But if you wonder why they're not, like, creamy color and they're black instead, that is the reason. <sighs> I'm rambling. Um... <laughs> what I do best. Anyway, so over here I also redid Faustus's face. And this is what I mean about dolls that when you don't blush their hands they look really strange. Um, at least for when I do face-ups sometimes because lately I've been noticing that I really like to do a lot of like face-ups with a lot of depth and a lots of like layers and colors and really make it kind of realistic. Um, I mean, I quote realistic, not, you guys know what I mean, like, obviously not realistic, but have the kind of shadows and depth and realism. So anyway, um, but you can see his hands are like stark, stark white, and that's because I haven't painted them. But it just looks so strange when you have, like, these really, really pale, bright hands and then, like, you know, a super detailed, like, blushed face. It just looks hilarious, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and blush his hands, but I did redo his face up. And like I said, it's a lot deeper and more layers and more colors and whatever. Um, and actually, I really, I'm blocking the light. I really do like it, actually. It looks, again, strange because his hands are so white. I don't know how you can see him, but he's a lot more blushed than he's ever been. Um, and I actually like that a lot because I think I mentioned before that it's really difficult for me to kind of like get his skin tone the way that I imagine it in a sort of 3D form. That's because, like, in my head, I imagined his skin to be very, like, opalescent and have, like, lots of different, like, shades of blue and kind of creamy colors, and it's really hard to explain. 
and kind of like shiny and glittery. It's just a strange, really like unique kind of skin. And so I think it's much closer now to what I envision it. His face anyway, his hands are just, oh, anyway. <laughs> But yeah, so it's supposed to be like really lots of different colors, but all sort of blend together. So I can't explain it very well, but I really actually do like it. And it, you can't see, but I gave him like a little tiny smirk. Like the corners of his mouth actually point upwards this time. And I don't know, I just kind of like that for him. His character is really difficult to explain. Like, <sighs> I imagine him kind of being like, have a little, like, smirk a lot. I don't know, but at the same time, his character isn't really... Uh, it's so hard to explain. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll actually know how to explain it, but anyway, I th think it fits his character. So, maybe not in a way that I can explain, but to me, anyway. Someday I'll figure it out how to explain it. But anyway, so yeah, I just want to go ahead and show you all of them and what I've done. Um, I'm also redoing shoes face up and blushing his hands as well. But um, I actually did redo it yesterday. I redid his face up. And the second I put his head on, I was like, nope. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, I, I thought it was fine until I actually, like, you know, put his head back on and put his wig on and stuff like that. And I was just like, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, my God, it was so bad. I was just like immediately, like, I've never had that reaction with doing a face up before. Like, usually I'll keep it on for at least a few days or so and just sort of like see how I feel um, but this time I was like just no no <laughs> so I'm redoing it again again um, so whenever he's finished maybe I'll show you guys what he looks like but yeah that's all I've done for the dollies today Zephyrus hasn't changed as well like Etzel those two are the only ones that I didn't really do anything for but um, yeah so that's about it just wanted to go ahead and show you them they're super cute and i have having lots of fun with my dollies this week. It's just been lots of fun. Um, and also playing Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I'll make a video about that too. I've gotten lots of shinies and things like that in the last week or so. So maybe I'll go ahead and make a video and show you guys my Pokemans. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This video is pretty long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. But that's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. <sighs> I can't make an interesting video to save my life. <laughs> I cry every time.